I got this question over on my channel, but I thought it would make sense over here with Personas. What is your input settings to have your audio come in with waveforms large? I always have to normalize just to see the waveform. This is one of those file this under questions I never thought people would ask, but then I once they ask it, I'm like, okay, I get what you're saying. So I've had this, not this question, but I've had similar comments on that will say, bro, they'll look at a, a video I've done and say, man, you really clipped that track. You recorded way too loud. And I just shake my head because they don't, they don't know what they're talking about. So here is, for example, my most recent song that I produced. And if you zoom in to, let's say, these guitar tracks, or this Wurlitzer track, or this clarinet track, or this, these vocal tracks, you look at it and you say, who doggy, that boy records real hot. And that would be true if this was Pro Tools. <laughs> Sorry, Pro Tools. Um, it's not. If you come down here to the bottom right-hand side of the, the arrange window, just you've got this thing here that allows you to zoom horizontally, and you've got this little thing here. I don't know if you can see that. It says Data Zoom right next to it. If you click and drag there, you are zooming in and out on the waveforms. If we zoom all the way out, we can see it more clearly. We can change how thick the waveforms are. So in the, in the all the way down setting, we can see, for example, these drums look pretty quiet. They're recorded at nice, like sane, conservative levels. As we turn this up, we can start to see things more. So I like to crank it just so I can, if in case something was recorded conservatively, which by the way, I recommend recording conservatively so you never have to worry about clipping. Um, but it can look like I've made them really loud. And then people will say, they just assume, oh, how do I record loud without clipping so that my waveforms are bigger? That's it. You should do this right here. Just adjust the zoom. And then the waveforms will be nice and big. Now, if you're recording so quiet that doing that doesn't make them bigger, then you probably could just turn up volume a little bit. Or you could normalize. Let's talk about what that means. If I select this piece of audio here um, and I normalize it by pressing F4, Whoops, that was weird. Uh, I mispressed something. Let's go to this track. If I press F4, oh, it's resuming. And then I come over here to the bottom side. We can readjust things. There's a checkbox here for normalize. There's also a key command for that, which is command or option N on the Mac. It must be probably Alt N on the PC. That will normalize the audio. What is happening here? There we go. I don't know why it's zooming. Let's just turn the zoom off for a second. Um, that will normalize the audio. So option N does this. Now this is literally changing the volume of this guitar. If we were to solo it, you would hear it. So what is normalizing real quickly? It's just it's just measuring the audio and saying, this audio peaks at minus 10, and then it just turns it up to where that peak is right at clipping, right at zero or just below. Um, it is that's called normalization. The problem with that, you could, there are people who love to like normalize everything so they can have it as loud as possible. The problem, if you normalize everything, then you're gonna have to turn it down later because a handful of normalized tracks mixed together on your mix bus will clip. Common misconception is as long as my individual tracks aren't clipping, my mix bus shouldn't clip either. Not true, it's math. If every track is a one, and the main bus clips at 10, each of the ones might not be clipping, but if you have 12 of them, that means you've got 12 happening at the mix bus, it's going to clip. We're gonna to have to turn these down even if they're not clipping themselves. It's, it's, it's kind of a math problem. It's more complicated than that, I'm sure, but that's the essence of it. So don't feel like, well, all my tracks aren't clipping, so why is my mix bus clipping? That's normal, super normal. Solution to this problem, by the way, which isn't the focus of this video, turn up your speakers. There's a volume knob for your speakers. Turn them louder so you can turn your tracks down and it still feels nice and loud in the room. That is literally the solution to so many of your problems. Most people will ignore that, but it, it's literally kind of, kind of life-saving when it comes to mixing. So um, instead of normalizing, just zoom in the waveforms. It'll look nice and big and you don't have to worry about clipping everything all the time.